Hello and welcome back. We are still going here. We are still alive on Travel Brutality Day 8. We're going to get raided probably in a couple days. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, make sure you hit that those buttons. That like button, that whatever button, the subscribe button, all the buttons, follow button. Hit all those buttons if you like what I'm doing. Because we are going to be here all night playing RimWorld for no reason other than this game is amazing. So let's do it. Let's fast forward on through the rest of the nightish, even though it's daytime now. I'm probably going to actually wake her up. Even though she's not fully rested because it's 9 a.m. And by doing that, her cycle will probably even out over these next couple days. Because she'll have, you know, she'll have woken up, woken up a little bit early. She'll have a little bit less energy. That kind of stuff. So, she put more fuel in the fire. That's good. Uh, we're going to run out of meals here, so we'll cook up those four meals from the milk. Oh man, she's still going for that, uh, that uh, <laughs> the mining. I think I'm going to take off all this mining, cancel all this, because she just is, is not good at mining. It's taking her so long, she's going to die of hypothermia out here, trying to mine. This is a cold world after all, remember? Just ticked up to miner, if you see that. Come on, homie. Let's finish this up. Four percent. Yes. Ah, oh, she wants to eat out here. Okay, fine. She'll eat. She'll become even more hypothermic. In the meantime, she'll get frostbite. All right, now she's gonna drag this back, which is exactly what we wanted. There we go. Zoom. So she's gonna now have the materials she needs to build that uh, research bench. Not quite. She's going to need a little bit more wood. Here's a tree she can cut down. That's good. Two trees. But, yeah, she's doing the right thing. She's going to make those four meals. What's her cooking skills? Probably not very high. Nope. Two. Oh, that's kind of good news. Transport pod crash. That could potentially be a new recruit. So we're going to actually... you got to make sure they have... Uh, there, there's a place for them to sleep. So we're going to make a medical bed here. Then we're going to take Cod and we're going to grab... Gennady! Old Genners! What's her situation like, though, over here? She has a meal. Not a lot of food to back it up. So after we fix up Gennady, we're going to go out and probably shoot some kind of beast. Oh man, you know, I didn't think about this. What if the beasts disappear? I'm really am going to starve to death. You know? Uh, so if that happens, we're going to have to start going nomad. And potentially, it's possible that the southern places have better, or fare better. Growing period, never. Growing period, never. Never, never. So you can't grow anywhere. <laughs> but some of these equatorial places at least have a way higher uh, minimum temperature. So I could potentially see f uh, fauna living in these equatorial regions. So it's possible I might want to actually, when I move my base, move south into maybe this... Oh, this is a, sh oh, this is a tundra, not a shrubland. That's interesting. There's a tundra in the middle of the map on this world. That's crazy. Alright, let's see. God is going to save person. That's good. We're just going to kind of fast forward that. Ooh, that's a good doe. We're going to kill that doe. Oh, died of blood loss. Man, I should have tended to his wounds down there. That was dumb. Oh, well. And Cod's probably going to freeze to death in a minute here. Another day. Okay. Still haven't solved a lot of the problems. Uh, we're going to lose our initial hope soon. Slept in cold. We shouldn't be sleeping in the cold. I don't know why that's happening. Oh, that just dropped out. Okay. Slept on ground. Yep. Awful bedroom. 
sweaty, so that's coming up because we're too hot. Slept in heat now. So I think the thing really to do uh, today is really just hunt that goat. Which is probably what she's going to do right now. Oh no, she's going to cook up. That's probably good. She's going to cook up those meals. A couple more meals. That'll buy us another day. You know, even if this food goes south. We don't need this second bed anymore. We can deconstruct that. Uh, and she's going all the way for this goat. I picked the wrong goat. She gave up. So it looks like all the animals are actually fleeing this area, which is not good. We'll force her to hunt this caribou up here. It would be good after all that matching uh, fur. If we're going to make a fur cloth item. Might as well both be all caribou. Nobody wants half rat, half caribou. Other than me, of course. I love half rat, half caribou things. Uh, so I think we'll probably end it here. When we pick up again, I should be... Oh, not that caribou's going to get away. I should like have at least a, some kind of dead animal. The fox is kind of dangerous to attack for me right now. So I'll attack something. You'll see. So catch me next time. And stay tuned. Don't you dare go, in any, go anywhere. We are doing this all night. All RimWorld all night.